Hey gang, so uh, not too long ago, I just had uh, a few more students than I would like fail their exam, right? So they were taking um, CASP, which is, you know, a, to me is a higher level exam. It's not easy. Uh, it's pretty technical. Anyway, uh, they were, you know, I caught them having a having a group <laughs> cry session or a group um uh, wine session, whatever you want to call it, you know, they were just pretty much, you know, feeling bad about themselves and not feeling too good. And in life, you're going to fail, man. Whether it's a test, whether it's a job interview, uh, whether it's a relationship, you know, it's going to happen. But the good thing about failure, there's always lessons, you know, never losses. So you learn, okay, what did I do wrong? What can I do better next time? So um, the reason I'm making this video is because I'm thinking that some of you guys can benefit from what I told them. So, as far as life in general, uh, opening up my mailbox to see if I got any checks. Look like I ain't got nothing but bills. Wonderful. Uh, anyway, so um, what I told them was, when you take an exam, right? If you fail it, it sucks. It sucks real bad because you've probably been studying for who knows how long. You've been, um, you know, dedicating a lot of time to um, this, right? And then you almost, you may be certain, like, shit, I'm going to pass this test um, no matter what. And then you come out and you fail short. You didn't get exactly uh, what you wanted to get. And now you kind of feel you know, discourage, you feel um, maybe uh, worthless, you know, all these types of emotions you go through, right? So to avoid the same misfortune the next time, I would suggest as soon as you come out of the testing center, right? As soon as you come out of the testing center to pretty much do a dump of everything that you saw on the test, right? Everything that you can remember from the test. Every, okay, I saw this, I saw that. Okay, I think I got this right, I think I got that right. Because the longer you wait to, you know, annotate or write down what you saw on the test, you're pretty much going to lose it, right? So I would say as soon as you get out of the test, if you're angry, upset, whatever, just get a notepad and write down, okay, this is what I saw, this is what um, I think the answer was, this is what I need to work on. I ain't never seen this before, let me go look at that, right? So first step, um, annotate and write down everything that... Um, you saw on the test. Everything that you can think of that you saw on the test, right? Second thing, I would, um, what's the second thing? Oh, second thing is work on your weak points, right? So from all that stuff that was on your notes, I would say go ahead and um, figure out what your weak points were. Okay, these are uh, strong suits. These are, damn y'all, I'm walking the wrong way. <laughs> anyway, uh, so these are the, uh, got two wrapped up. These are my strong suits. Uh, these are my uh, weak points, so on and so forth. So, and then work on those things, right? Um, if you have strong points or strong suits, I wouldn't really emphasize those too much because you already know that stuff, right? Um, but what I would do is um, work on your weak points. Whatever was inside of um, the material that you written down, that you jotted down, I will go ahead and work on that stuff right um last but not least don't wait too long to take um, another attempt right don't wait months down the road now if you damn if the if the uh test is on a scale from one to a hundred and you got a three you might want to wait you might want to rethink about what you're doing but um, if you got pretty close or you know around about i wouldn't wait more than two or three weeks right but that's what real you know hardcore uh studying right so make sure you study i don't know 20 30 hours a week um and then go back in there and take it again all right so recap what did i say uh, first thing uh don't cry you know don't be discouraged and dump everything everything that um you saw on the test right and then from that information uh figure out what your weak points were from that stuff then after that um what I just say? Oh, don't wait too long to take the test, right? Um, and for everybody else, 
just whether it's an interview, whether it's a job that you didn't get, whether it's a relationship, just failures um, are inevitable and you need to embrace them because it's going to happen. You know, I've I failed in exams. I failed job interviews. Uh, I failed in relationships. I failed, you know, a bunch of times. But just like Michael Jordan said, you know, I succeed because I failed so many times. Right. That's why he succeeds. So. Um, if you haven't failed or you're scared of failure, then you're scared of growth and progression. All right, gang, this is um, Dwayne. I think I'm going to right. Yep, this is the right place. Uh, this is Dwayne <laughs> from ITBadgeKey.com. And other than that, I'll see you in class.